Hi, I'm Christine. I'm the Max Subject Head in charge of the curriculum at MyChamps. Today, I would like to introduce to you how optimal flow is being applied to the topics and lesson in our PSLE curriculum here. This question is a typically a P6 question and the kids are asked to solve this. You actually need concepts that are taught in previous years. The topic of volume itself is not taught in primary 6, it's taught in primary 5. You also need to know some concepts in, introduced in primary 2 and primary 3. So in a lesson, this topic of volume is actually taught in one of our lessons under volume and application. In that lesson itself, we actually introduce to them what is being taught in P3, P2 and P5 and link it together such that they can revisit and uh, understand the concept so that they can apply to this question. So for this question itself, what makes it challenging is that they first have to know that the air space in figure 1 and figure 2 is the same um, container, just that it has been toppled clockwise and it's concealed. So it actually needs one of the science concepts that the space occupied is the same. What next part, in order to solve it, you, they have to be able to see the dimensions of the tank in figure 1 and 2. When it's being toppled clockwise, you, they have to realise that this side, which is 15 cm, is actually the same as this portion down here. Since the air space occupied in both the uh, in the both figures the same, you will take the volume divided by the base area which is 15 times 18 such that you will know that the height of this airspace is 17. And on this diagram itself, again, you have to use the skill of the visual uh, uh, application. This 30 cm is also 30 cm here. And we have found that this part, which is the height of the airspace is 17 cm, you are able to find the height of the water here which is 13. So with that, your volume of the coloured water will be actually just a direct application of volume which is length times breadth times height to give you 7,800. So in order for the child to actually come up with these four steps, they actually need to be able to link the different topics which is taught throughout the years. So that's how an optimal flow lesson is being conducted for this topic of volume and application.